the story of Nanuka. And it's called Nanuka's Magical Garden. On top of the planet, no flowers could grow. There was nothing there at all but snow, snow, and more snow. As far as you could see, and as far as you could go. But in her little igloo, Nanuka had a dream of the most wonderful garden that she'd ever seen. It had thousands of flowers in brilliant red and green. Nanuka woke up and put on her furry shoes, her thick warm mittens and her fluffy coat too. And then she raced off to tell her friends the news. I have a magical garden, she shouted to the seals. Is it fun? they all asked. Like chasing after eels? Of course, she replied. I can show you that it's real. I have a magical garden, she shouted to the owls. More magical than snowflakes? they asked with a growl. It's full of sparkling rainbow light, she said with a howl. I have a magical garden, she told the fox and the hare. More exciting, they both asked, than running everywhere. Oh yes, it's wonderful and unbelievably fair. I have a magical garden, she told her polar bear friend. Better, he asked, than rolling in snow until the day's end. It's the most magical wonder on that you can depend. So Nanuka and her friends walked over the hills to search for the garden of magical thrills. But all they could find was snow, calm and still. Hmm, where's my magical garden? she asked with a sigh. She was so disappointed Nanuka wanted to cry. And then the sun went down and the moon lit up the sky. Then there in the darkness they saw a strange light in the sky right above them. It was magic, all right. At least a thousand flowers sprung forth so bright. It's my magical garden, Nanuka cried out. And all of her friends rejoiced with a shout. It's beautiful, sparkly, sparkling and magical, no doubt. They sat in the snow with a wondrous cry as the great northern lights danced around up on high. Today they were Nanuka's magical garden in the sky. The Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights, as it's commonly known, is seen in the sky near the North Pole. The Aurora Australis is found in the Southern Hemisphere near us, seen near the Southern Pole. They both appear like streams of red or green light and are caused by charged particles from the sun mixing with atoms in the upper atmosphere. If you could have a garden in the sky, what would it look like?